The festive season is gaining on the Port Mosby Rugby Football League and the competition is aiming to have the grand final this week before the Christmas weekend next week. With a short season this year, teams have made it their business to play on in a shortened format of the season. We are hoping to have the grand finals in a week's time from now. Uh, that will mean that our final preliminary week of finals will ask the clubs, the remaining clubs, to play it over midweek so that we can clear the grand final on the 19th, which is the Sunday. The plan is to have midweek matches for the teams in the finals to determine the grand finalists. It will take some convincing, but Paul Marafel says it's the best option to have a competitive grand final. I am trying to um, convince them uh, if we take the games into Christmas or after Christmas, Christmas activities, drinking, eating, all that, and the, the mood of the games will be lost, the fitness building up will be lost, and uh, we might see substandard grand final. On Sunday, the quarterfinals in the men's under 20 saw a tough hit out between the Corny Storms in blue and the Butterflies in white and green. A tough match which went down to the wire with the Storms too strong for the Butterflies edging them 14 points to 10. In the women's grand final qualifier, it was hot favorites the Paga Panthers in blue against sisters in the Dragons colors in a fight for the first grand final spot of the competition. The sisters showed positive signs of a strong fight back but the Paga Panthers women were too strong and played to their strengths with a convincing 26 points to 4 victory. In the men's A grade, the Paga Panthers and Souths went into a do or die match eager for a win to keep their finals hopes alive. But it was Paga Panthers who managed to edge the Souths 14 points to 10 in a hard fought win. In other results from Saturday, in the under 20 division, Coney Tigers 4 defeating Tarangau nil. In the women's division, the South women team 14 beat Royals 10 and in the A grade, Butterflies 22 beat defending Premier's brothers 18 in extra time. Administrator of Poma RFL, Meke Maino, was grateful for the support shown by the Papua New Guinea Rugby Football League chairman, Sandy Saka as well, who had been showing tremendous support to Poma RFL. Mr. Sandy Saka for his support to this year's short competition uh, by way of making generous donation towards the uh, Player of the Match Awards. Uh, 20 kina to the player judged best from the winning team and 10 kina to the player judged from the losing team. I would like to, on behalf of the uh, chairman of the Port Moresby Rugby League Board, the entire board and uh, the 14 clubs, also our sponsor, I would like to say a word of thanks to Mr. Sandy Saka. Meke also thanked SPPNG Hunters coach Matthew Church for his donations towards the competition. I would like to also thank uh, Matthew Church, the SPPNG Hunters coach, for making timely, generous donations of uh, uh, ISC, ISC competition sheds to the presidents and some officials, including the board, as well as uh, training balls, which we gave out to the clubs to help them with their preparations.